Hello and welcome to another Shadowverse Evolve unboxing today with the volume 3, Flame of Leviathan. I probably pronounced this wrong, but something like this. And yeah, this this set looks like it's not super popular. At least uh, I, I got this one in a sale for like three three and a half thousand yen. So kind of cheap. And then just just yesterday there was a second sale on on Ami Ami. Uh, luckily Bob told me this, so yeah, thank you so much, Bob. And I I just ordered another box for under two thousand, like thousand nine hundred yen, which is super cheap. I have no idea why this set is so cheap. Maybe it's not uh, not so playable, but because I just like to look at shiny cards and don't care about the, the gameplay so much. I'm very happy that I get this set so cheap. And we get this time only one sketch card. Where's my focus? Yeah. Yeah, in volume two, I got two sketch cards. So this time only one. And I, I took just a quick, quick look into the card gallery for my, for my second box, I will Show you the card list and yeah we will look together what's in this but yeah for this one I wanted to be a little bit uh blind at least with most of the artworks and this looks so already so cool like uh it gives me some steampunk vibes but at the same time like holly uh had holly Halloween themed with a pumpkin head that's such a nice artwork yeah, the, the character designs and the art in, in Shadowverse is just too pretty. It really is like one of my my favorites. At the moment I cannot even tell that I I like V Cross more. Sometimes I feel like Shadowverse is more of my my type. And this is the first legendary pull. She looks like Mesh, Mesh Keolite, Keolite from Fate, but I don't think this is a collaboration between, between these two. I, no, I cannot tell you which is the character name, sadly, but yeah, some kind of hawk and a gold rare, like a city in the sky or a castle in the sky. Oh, and this looks cool too. Yeah, the art. The art in Shadowverse is like, yeah, I, I really like V-Cross and the, the vibrant colors and everything. It's more, more childish, I would say, but Shadowverse, some of the art is just too, too pretty. There are too many details. This, this looks like from, from Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Cool. And what? Why do I pull the the big hits back to back? But this is a character that I don't like so much. Not really into the the knights. But our second LG. It looks like it's uh what's the English word? It's Man, I have to look this up. I get so frustrated when I have something in my head and I cannot tell you what what it is because I'm lacking the the vocabulary. The fairy tale themed set maybe because of the the frog kiss. And this again looks like Alice. Gives me some Alice vibes. Was expecting a little bit of a a different theme, like more of this dragon humanoid characters. Maybe we will get more of them. I'm not complaining. Okay, now we are getting like some some more knights. Like a chess game. We get another frog. Okay. Oh, a kitty cat. That's cute. GR. And the color of the, the kitty cat and the border they are. Fitting pretty well together. In the back we can also see like the the city in the sky and the clouds. VR and another token. 
So yeah, there's one leader card of, of Daria. Daria is uh, the witch I have pulled from my second box. And the leader card is one of these thick ones. I, I haven't pulled a leader card and I don't know if I will ever pull one. It's probably like a case hit. But yeah, very, very nice looking card I would like from this set. Okay, like angel and devil. Good. GR. And another duplicate. Did I got this like in the same pack? Am I just misremembering? No, it was another pack. It felt like I, I pulled one card two times in this pack. Very, very pretty. The art, the art is just too good for this one. Especially I like how big the artwork is compared with other TCGs. There's not too much text on it. Oh, I like the, the, the horse hairstyle. <laughs> Very pretty. Okay, some kind of baby dragon. Okay, gives me some Albedo vibes. But now we are not pulling. <laughs> the, the first packs had like two legendaries. Now we are not getting any more. Okay, another like witch character. Oh, that's cool. And rats. Okay, what's happening here? That's weird. But it really looks like it's heavily fairy tale themed. I, I wanted to... Is this the guy? Is this the egg? This is weird. Okay, maybe he's breaking out of his shell. <laughs> this is creepy. Maybe I, I take this as a thumbnail. Oh, another like fallen angel. And another one of this. But yeah, the token, it looked like we, we get the same tokens over and over from from the uh, from the first and second volume. This is another really different art style. Really more realistic. Tells some story. I like this one. Okay. Oh, but this time, maybe it's the first time that a card got some some damage, some widening, at least. I didn't found anything like that before. Okay, cute beer. Oh, that's that's cute, like a bird in the snow. Yeah, the the mix of the art styles or the the artworks is like really refreshing too. Sometimes you get something really really cute and then another more realistically i really like this mix and i especially like that these cards are big and not like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh or Cardfight Vanguard i really appreciate the artwork in Cardfight Vanguard but it's just so sad that the cards are so small because the artwork is so detailed and yeah we got an SR Okay, that's nice. And a GR? Again with the... Oh, maybe I... My brain is just doing things, but I... I wanted to say that I try to find some lore or like some, some backstory to the set. Because I... Yeah, I wanted to find something I can talk about. Like, is what kind of collaboration is this set? And uh, I I couldn't find it so not so fast as I thought. That's really sad. Maybe I I haven't looked in the right places. Yeah, it's it is really fairy tale themed. Like this is a Red Riding Hood or what's the English name for this? The Big Bad Wolf. Oh, that's cool. 
another cute cat dog i don't know maybe i should should look on the if if there is an english website for shadowverse i tried to look at the wiki but i maybe the the shadowverse wiki side was more for the online game and not for the card game or maybe i just was confused oh another chess piece the horse gr Okay, double GR pack. Interesting. And both are foil. But now we are we should get like some more LG car. We started so so big and then <laughs> Okay. Like a goose with a head. The artwork is just too pretty and funny. Yeah, and this is like, uh, oh, Hansel and Gretel. I don't know if there is a different name for this in English. Oh, that's so cool. Another GR. And another Hawk. I'm especially excited about the next volume, volume four, because there are collaboration cards with Koji S. Koji S is by far one of my my favorite anime. I really feel like watching the anime again in the f near future. And yeah, I, I really, really want to try to get some nice cards from Lelouch or from CC. Yeah, and this is the, the Don Quixote. He's uh, fighting the, I don't know the English word. Oh, that's so cool. I really, really, really enjoy the, the themes in this TCT. Makes it so enjoyable to open them and to, to find out the references. Man, this, this could really become like my favorite TCG to open just because of the pretty art. Oh. Okay, except this one. I'm talking about pretty art and then this guy shows up. Okay, we get like an, an bunny. LG. Nice. And another GR. Okay, and the LG evolve. Like a like a frost queen. Ice queen. So now we are Four, four legendaries, I think. In my first Japanese box, I got an SL, but I don't think this the SL is guaranteed. Okay, what's... Oh no, it's so cute. It's a hedgehog and he's eating a sword. He's just some, some round ball of fluff. Oh, that's so cute. Spiky fluff. And then we get like super anime art style. That's so funny. GR and SR evolved. Two more packs. So there should be more, but maybe there are different different ratios for this set. And yeah, and if you know why why this set is not so popular, please let me know. Maybe it is not really playable. I would like to hear it. And yeah, we get like an LG. Oh, another pretty one. And okay, another LG. And this is like, yeah, the Leviathan or the character from the pack. Yeah, I know characters like this from, I think even in Billions of Enemy X, they have these Dragon, Dragonite characters i i don't really like them but it looks like they are very popular even in in card fight vanguard and everything but not really my style i like dragons but not with the with the armor and not so humanoid so let's see if there's something in the last pack <laughs> okay it's uh, alice again with with a bunny 
Oh, and the hedgehog evolved. So now he is ready for battle. Looks like he is the, the Game of Thrones. Like with all the swords in the back. Ah, oh, that's that's a, such a creative and funny card design. I love it. I really like this one. But I cannot find who's the artist. Maybe I'm stupid, but I cannot find the artist. What a bummer. Really nice design. I love it. So yeah, I hope you are excited for more Shadowverse Evolve because I I certainly am. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.